Vincent van Gogh was born on March 30, 1853. He was an artist from 1860 to 1890. Early in his life, van Gogh wanted to be a minister, but later found a passion for art after he failed to become a minister. Van Gogh lived in poverty his entire adult life and even moved in with his brother Theo when he had nowhere else to go. In 1888, while painting with other artists at the Yellow House, a place Van Gogh rented in the hopes of being able to congregate artists together so they would work and create together, Van Gogh chased another artist with a razor blade, and while unsuccessful in harming the artist, ended up cutting a portion of his earlobe off. After this, his mental health took a rapid decline. Alternating between madness and lucidity, he was sent to live at an asylum in St. Remy to be treated for his mental health issues. Two years later, in 1890, Van Gogh was released from the asylum and lived in Auvers-sur-Oye under the watch of Dr. Paul Fernand Gachet. Two months after his release, Van Gogh died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. While he never saw any fame or money during his life from his career as an artist, Van Gogh lives on with a legacy as one of the world's greatest painters. Van Gogh's piece, Sunflowers, was painted in 1887 and is currently on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, New York, in the United States. The description of the piece at the Met is, Van Gogh painted four still lifes of sunflowers in Paris in late summer 1887. There is an oil sketch for this picture in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, as well as another painting of two, two sunflowers, also signed and dated 1887, in the Kunstmuseum Bern and a larger canvas showing four sunflower heads at the Kroller Mueller Museum in Otterlo. Paul Gauguin acquired the two smaller works, and until the mid-1890s when he sold his most prized possessions to finance, to finance his South Seas voyage, they held, pride, they held pride of place above his bed in his Paris apartment. This piece, like most other pieces by Van Gogh, uses dimmer colors, with the whites being close to a muddled gray, as well as darker blues. Even the yellows are a muted mustard color. Van Gogh had severe mental illness, and like most artists, it showed in his work, even if what he painted was very often literal. The darker and muted colors are associated with depression, and the subject of this piece, as well as a pair of being... and the subject of this piece being a pair of wilting sunflowers, metaphorically represents how those with depression may feel. While it may not be a purposeful look into what he was feeling, Van Gogh showed how he felt through his works. This piece works as an introspective look into oneself and a view of their feelings, specifically representing sadness and depression, or an otherwise feeling of withering and wilting, as dying flowers do. Salvador Dali was born on March 11, 1904, in Figueres, Spain. From an early age, Dali practiced art and went on to study art at, at an academy in Madrid. For most of his life, Dali painted, and while he attended art schools, he did not do well, as he was not a serious student. During Dali's several trips to Paris between 1926 and 1929, he met multiple influential artists and painters who introduced him to Surrealism, though at the time he had been working with Impressionism, Futurism, and Cubism. In 1929, Dali had his first Surrealistic period, in which he created oil paintings of his dream images. His Surrealist paintings were also inspired by Sigmund Freud's theories, as Dali was an avid reader of his works. In 1934, Dali married Elena Dmitrievna Diakonova, the ex-wife of writer Paul Eluard. The talent, while talented in his works, Dali was incapable of dealing with the business side of being an artist, and so his wife took care of the business and legal matters for him. By the 1930s, Dali was well known for his wildly eccentric 
personality, along with his most well-known painting, The Persistence of Memory, featuring Melton Clocks, which came out in 1931. In 1934, Dali was expelled from the Surrealist movement. While it was unclear the exact reason why he was expelled, some art historians believe his expulsion had been driven more by his feud with Surrealist leader Andre Breton. Despite this, Dali participated in the movement's exhibitions internationally into 1940. During World War II, Dali and his wife moved to the United States, though they moved to Catalonia in 1940. Between 1960 and 1974, Dali dedicated much of his time to creating the Teatro Museo Dali, or the Dali Theater Museum, in Figueres, Spain. In 1980, Dali suffered from a motor accident that left him unable, unable to paint. In 1982, his wife Gala died. Dali died on January 23rd, 1989, and was buried in his museum in Figueres, Spain. Salvador Dali's piece, titled Labyrinth, is an oil-on-canvas painting that he created in 1941. The virtual tour of the Dali Theater Museum in Spain states, The enormous backdrop that dominates the stage is called Labyrinth. It was created from an oil painting that Dali made for the ballet of the same name, based on the Greek myth of Theseus and Ariadne, and first performed in the Metropolitan Opera House in New York in 1941. The sets and costumes were designed by Dali. The piece features a man with his head slumped over and a tunnel opened in his chest cavity, along with a tree growing between his breasts. The piece, use, the piece uses dark colors with grays and dark blues, as well as large parts of the painting are covered in shadow. The painting feels like an introspective look into the subject, as though the man, while alive, is empty and just a cracked husk of what he was. The deep shadows and dark colors give a mournful vibe to the piece, making the man, though lacking in facial features, look sad. <laughs> 